Welcome back. This is a second Red Star Level 7 that we're going to watch uh, by our fearless leader. He said he felt more comfortable about this one, and after watching it once, I agree. He does an excellent job of managing the Colossus on the planet, and it's just a, a really good strategy. I I haven't thought of it yet. I just I don't have some of those mods that he's using, but it's clever. It's effective, and wh whether he developed it himself or just or stumbled across it in another, watching another star, it's a good idea. What he's doing is he's gonna get to the planet, and we run into this problem in Red Star Sixes. You get to the planet, and you're waiting for everything to get to you, and they just slaughter you, and you have no way to EMP them. That's why we backtrack to the gate. This is a, a nice, clean solution. You get to the planet, and wait for everyone to sit there, and then you stealth while they're while they're still in transit. And it looks like when he chose to move his battleships right after stealthing, it didn't pull the interceptor like it did in the previous episode. So this is this is a really good little fight, a good use of dual lasers. Two of his battleships have dual lasers. And I'm looking at it and realizing that that's primarily to get rid of two Colossus at the same time. It's not so much to clear out the Sentinels and the Guardians. It's mostly so you can tackle two Colossus at the same time without getting overwhelmed. So this, a good quick battle. He does lose a battleship briefly, but they all have Sanctuary, so it's not, it's not a, a game killer doesn't really lose any monetary value just the hydrogen it cost to warp him back in uh, so he he does go ahead and get those two and then he gets ambitious I don't know if he does this every single red star or if he tr has this in mind when he when he gets in inside the red star and sees if he can get two but he does he goes after a second one and this is where he fudges some of his some of his strategy you know and it's a good thing too he got in there quick and he lost a uh, lost a ship and it didn't matter because he he was in a hurry and he only had seconds left when he was done so let's let's speed this up a little bit okay here we go so the problem is he's inside his his EMP bubble. Your target radius is also your EMP bubble. So right away, he's both his battleships are inside his bubble, and I think it's the at least it looks like it. Let's let's see what happens. Um, yeah, he waits too long, traps one of his battleships. And now he's got to get in there and try to go ahead and knock out everything. Speed it up a little bit. He does send a rocket, so that helps. Uh, all his ships, I think, have salvage, so that's that's nice. You don't have to have your shield to continue fighting. You can, especially in these big group battles, you can get in there and start trashing their, their ships and repair your ship at the same time so that's that's nice to a good way to do it and now he's bouncing his battleships off of other things ash nearby asteroids to break the targeting like we talked about in a in a previous show and it's an excellent strategy you you get them away from the colossus that's targeting you it breaks their their charge up on their lasers and now you now they have to start over to try to do any damage to you whatsoever and I think the rest of this is just a waiting game he's he's pretty much got the strategy down yep send your battleship away breaks the target and now he's got a target 
Looks like he's targeting one with no shield, but that's all right. There you go. Two planets down. I haven't even attempted this. I don't really want to yet. But obviously it can be done and can be done well. Um, and he does make it out. He's got time warp and he's really good at uh, gauging how f how far he can get with his transports before he runs out of time. And he's saving a little bit of hydrogen by leaving his leaving his battleships out to die. They all have sanctuary, so no hydrogen cost uh, to warp them back out. Just let them die and spawn back at the gate. <clears throat> all right, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot.